Suspiria was such a huge hit for Argento, it's his resoundingly classified as his best movie. Um, it's fantastic in the way it's directed, the stylized, the score, everything about it. I mean, you see a remake for one of these movies, you're always a little bit tentative about how they're going to tackle the material. Is it going to be a straight, almost shot for shot remake of it? Are they going to twist things about? Are they going to ruin it forever? Are they going to scar your childhood and take away one of your favourite movies? Of course, that's a load of nonsense because you're always going to have the original. And I, I'm always curious about uh, remakes. You know, most of the time they don't work. They don't capture the same kind of magic. And sometimes they create something a little bit different. Sometimes just as good as the original. I was really curious about Suspiria. Unfortunately, I missed it at the cinema. Something that I'm really kicking myself about now. And I delved into this movie because it's now available on Amazon Prime UK. Uh, and I just wanted to tune out and watch this. I put the lights off, I you know, sat facing the TV, big uh, screen and just delved into this world. Of course it's based in 1977 in a school of dancing in Berlin. We have a character who's travelled from Kansas who's going there. Um, she has no formal training, she just has a natural ability. What she doesn't realise is that all the teachers within this school are basically a coven of witches and they are looking for a vessel, someone that is going to be able to take uh, their master's spirit into her body so that she can be reborn in a younger version of herself. And of course her lead character doesn't quite realise that's what's going to happen. We have some fantastic performances, particularly Tilda Swinton who has several roles within the movie and is excellent in all of them. And this is a kind of slow burn, uh, atmospheric piece that I was just drawn right into. I'm not going to talk too much about the story because, well, it's there to be discovered for itself, more about the atmosphere that it creates. It has these mesmeric dance sequences throughout the movie that always mimic something else. You know, there's a couple of dance sequences that, that, that are shot in conjunction with someone being horrifically tortured in various manners. There's one at the start uh, where one of the characters, our main character, is dancing uh, in a lead role and it's juxtaposed with the person who's just left the school who, who feels there's something odd going on here as she is brutally tortured and murdered in a horrific fashion that's both twisted and disgusting but kind of beautiful in the way that the body's moulded the same way as the dance routine is being done at the same time. It's a movie that takes plenty of time in getting where it's going and I can understand that being uh, something that a lot of people aren't going to like. The movie for me is captivating, it's haunting, it feels measured in all the right ways, it has some horrific imagery all the way through it and it builds up terrifically well to this blood soaked twisted last 15 minutes that is truly horrific, full of practical and bloody effects that is just wonderful to see and the twists and turns that happen across the way uh, was unexpected for me but something that I ultimately really enjoyed and this movie left a mark on me uh, that I want to go back and check out again. Now I do love Argento Suspiria but I feel as though, although this has similar qualities it's a completely different animal and again I, I loved it. The haunting score to the, the, the twisting and turning dance numbers to the great performances by Swindon who it is just revelatory in this. Again, it feels like she's such a good actress that she's just amazing in almost everything that she's in, but she adds a whole new level to this. Uh, Dakota Johnson is as great as this timid character that goes there that just wants to dance, that unleashes and unlocks a part of her psyche that she never even knew was there, that really brings her out of her shell in various moments, that the spells, the incantations, the witchcraft that goes on in the movie is all wonderfully subtle and twisted, the way it focuses on various which uh, iconography throughout the movie uh, is very subtly placed is wonderful as well and I think this is a really terrific movie that I absolutely adored. I'd love to know what you thought of the Suspiria remake, if you liked it or if you hated it, I really want to know why. Let me know in the comment box below, we'll have a little discussion about what you thought was wonderful or derivative or why it wasn't as good as the original or why it 
it may surpass it in some people's eyes. Let me know. I want to talk to people about this terrific movie. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.